Okay, hi everyone. Um, just a really quick, uh, very dirty, um, not dirty, but down and dirty video of something I've been playing with a little bit. I just wanted to get down um, while I'm playing with it. Sorry if you can hear my kids in the background. It's the summer holidays and everybody's going nuts. Um, right, so I've been playing with the base relief function in ZBrush um, to varying degrees of success. And then I was trying to replicate the same thing in Blender because I've been trying to move my sculpting over to Blender. Um, I've been playing with the mist pass, um, mist render pass, which gives me a, a grayscale image through Blender, which I'm having some success with. I'll do another video on that. But then it got me thinking about geometry nodes and I came across a cryptic um, post somewhere on the internet where somebody was using geometry nodes to make uh, relief from a 3D object. So I thought I'd have a little play with that. And this is where I'm at so far. It is not perfect by any means. It's at a very basic level, but it throws up a very interesting possibility. So here is what I've got to so far. Now this, I am not in any way um, up to speed on geometry nodes in Blender. So a lot of this is stuff that I've picked from other people. But basically, what I've done is I've created a grid of squares. Um, it's fairly coarse at the moment, just so I can actually get it to do what I need it to do quite quickly. Um, so it's a, it's a little bit like one of those pin pin face things you used to I used to have one when I was a kid. So I've got a, a a sort of source model here, which is Suzanne the Blender Monkey and a, a little donut ring there, and then I've made this grid of um, little sticks, little pins, and I'm using it, using the geometry nodes to push the pins up where they relate to the model underneath. Um, and you can see the effect here, and it's, as I say, it's coarse, but it's doing some interesting stuff. But the thing that I wanted to get down here that's making this interesting is what you can do um, around that. So if I if I select away from the, the pin grid, so the pin grid has all the all the tech behind it, all the nodes that are telling it to respond to this model in particular ways. But if I click off that and click to the to the model itself, what I'll do is I'll go to a layout mode so we can see what we're doing a bit better. Right, just give it a second to render in and then but if I take that model and then start to rotate it what it oh, bear with me sorry it's moving a bit let's take that back it's moving a bit too fast for me there but what it actually does as it moves around it's changing the relief that it's creating um, So if I if I play with that and I rotate the whole model underneath, you can see what it's actually doing is it's still giving me a relief. I mean we've got some artifacts there that's to do with the way the the pins are relating to the model. But it's actually giving me a possibility to you can see it a bit better there maybe let's try that no that's not working um to actually take a live 3d scene and convert it into a relief that is it's gone too far there see it's starting to bottom out but you can see the to the point i'm getting at i can take a 3d scene and <clears throat> create a relief from it and then modify that scene in real time. So if I wanted to take the um, let me just get that so I can select all of those and then I can move that. I can grab that, I can move it in X so I can move the whole thing across. So what you can do is actually create a three-dimensional scene as we were doing with um, ZBrush. 
um, where you take a 3D scene and then squash it flat into a relief. Um, but do the same thing in Blender, but actually alter that relief in real time um, and see the results. It's really, really basic at the moment. It's really coarse, but it's something I'm going to play with um, that could could create some interesting uh, interesting opportunities, um, particularly in sort of early stages of modeling where you're trying to get you know the, the right sort of viewpoints and the right images and stuff. Um, as I said, I am not a geometry nodes person at all. So anybody who knows what they're doing and can help me sort of tailor this and give it a bit of finesse, um, please give me a shout out in the comments um, or get in touch.